Well, Cool Bay is a place we've been going on holiday for about 10 years. Um, we've got a share in Little Bothy there, which is about 40 minutes walk from the road. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And we go there about four weekends a year and about two holidays. And um, just a plot came up. We've been looking for a plot to buy, uh, to build a house, um, something that was really ecological and really different from our house that we've got in the town and eventually moved there. Um, and we found that there was a plot for sale right there in the, the vicinity that we know and love really well. So that's why we decided to go for Cool Bay. We've been developing our use of Archicad and BIM within the office through this project. It's a really good size for us to, um, to experiment with some new things. So one of the things we've been doing um, is using it to uh, make a 3D model. So this is a 3D print um, from, uh, directly from the uh, Archicad model um, at an early stage to look at some design options for how the roof might work with the, the front there. Um, and it was a natural progression um, to uh, take that and when BIMX became available um, for, for the software to take that and, and try it with this client being technically aware um, that, uh, and, and competent to, to try it and have a go and um, uh, Kat seems to have loved it so uh, it's been a great experience for us. Oh, when I first saw the model it was just brilliant. Um, we had it on, I think it was on my iPhone first but then we put it onto the computer as well. I just thought it was fabulous. We kind of walked through it. I was zooming through the door, through the window, out through the roof light. Couldn't get around the stairs at all. Every time I went up the stairs, I just shot out of the landing window. And then I had to go back in the front door because I couldn't work out how to get back in a window. And it was just great fun. I mean, it was like flying through this house. And even when you go up the stairs, it feels like you're actually walking. It kind of goes clunk, clunk, clunk as you walk up the stairs. Very satisfying feeling. You kind of, as you sail through doors, you don't even need to open them, you just sail through. They kind of disappear as you come past them. And it was just such fun, and uh, the kids absolutely loved it. I loved it. I emailed it to my mum and dad, my sister, had them on the phone going, what do you think? The BIMX model was really easy to create because it was just based on the work that we'd already done in creating the 3D models. Um, we could then develop that further, and then once we were able to export it as a BIMX model, we didn't even have to have Kat come into the office. We could just email the model directly to her, and she could download it, open up, and explore the house and all the different options, and get a, a much better feel for the rooms. The biggest difference of being able to visualise what your house looks like in 3D is being able to see how you'd live in it. And you could say, well, I could stand there and do my cooking, and then I can talk to my friends, you can look at how the layout of the kitchen relates to the dining room, relates to the windows, and see that that is a usable space. Um, one of the things that, that I asked the architects to do after seeing the 3D model was widen the gap between the kitchen and the living room, because I could see that it came down to more or less the door size, and I, and I wanted it to feel a little bit more open while having two separate spaces. Things like that, I couldn't really tell what it would be feel like to be in the house, but when you see it in 3D, it's really obvious what works and what doesn't work. That um, opens the door to a whole lot of um, uh, new ideas, new thoughts, um, different ways that the building could be put together, and also reassures the client that what they are seeing on the plans and what they are interpreting from the plans is actually what we're interpreting from the plans as well. And one of my friends is a collage artist and we were chatting about his new exhibition that he's about to launch and um, he jokingly asked whether perhaps he could display it in my house, my virtual house, which is an interesting concept because his art is made up of mountains that don't exist. It's a lot of photographs of different mountains. I just wrote a blog about it because I thought they'd be quite fun and just, just for the thought of it. I didn't even speak to the architects about it and the next thing I knew Scott had sent me an email saying, oh, look at the new version I've put in the art. And he'd gone to Jeff's website, cut and pasted the, the pictures from the website into the model. So now in my own 3D model at home, I've got art from my friend on the walls. As we began to develop the, the model further and the proposals further, we were able to introduce things like the, the door choices that Kat had made from our front door and internal doors, and also pieces of art that Kat had planned to put on the walls. We were able to put that into the 3D model so that Kat could get an idea of how her things would begin to, begin to fit into it and instead of it just being a, a standard blank Archicad door it is the oak doors that she's chosen that are all represented within it. So it makes a, 
there's a progression that occurs and it's a lot easier with BIMX because it's, it's just literally file and save as and you can then send that off and it's so easy to update. So the, when the house is built, which I hope it will be within a year, but you don't want to speak too soon, um, it will be a fabulous place for us to spend time, for us to, uh, for the children to come back and visit us when they're, they've left home, a place for us to, to just enjoy life and uh, enjoy a home. When my friends look at the software, they always say to me, oh, it doesn't look like your house. Uh, where's the clutter? Where's the, where's the mess? <laughs> so I expect it will evolve from being that kind of pristine, beautiful house that you see on the 3D software to being the kind of lived in, quite messy, but a really, really nice place to live.